my name is Adam Holtz, and uh, this first uh, poem that I wrote uh, was published in Improbable Worlds uh, several years ago uh, when I first moved uh, back into Houston from Dallas. And um, uh, I, I was so excited to um, have this poem published because it, it fit the, uh, the theme pretty well. And so this poem is uh, called Poets Make Potholes Beautiful. And it goes like this. Some mad energy gathered around me today, oh Houston, as I glided above Allen Parkway after banging every pothole on Shepherd, finally I knew how to say what to say. If you knew me like I know you, oh Houston, and I hope you will, you would send me back to Dallas in a heartbeat. The fury within your sun burns like anything people bring you. Oil and meth and skin, they do. And you bring simmer to a boil, you do. The slicks of oil on the coast, oh Houston, glug your name, I do the same. Fourth largest city, be slouching toward a refinery with slick lips, not giving a care for efficiency, only the bottom line, not a care for rhyme or reason, not a care for any season, but all the cares in all the world for a dime, c'est là. This is where I entice you, oh Houston. A boy when I left, now a man returned. Someone like the son of man spurned by higher passions than a dime can earn. By Herman Park and a painting in the Museum of Fine Arts, it was a start that made me say when Lord is enough. When do the refineries refine themselves? When does the bottom line bottom out? When does a bayou become a boardwalk become an icon? When does Space City look to the skies again and see more than rain? There's a space station up there calling your name, oh Houston. There's a country singer who does the same, oh Houston. There's a rapper doing the same. And uh, there's an oil baron with his hands on your ears, oh Houston. They all want something different and I just want you. If you will rise and burn for something other than sex and wealth, if you will consider your health, you're at an age where it pays to take care of yourself, to talk to your doctor about fill in the blank, to talk, to talk, to listen to your sons and daughters. To me, oh Houston, even minor poets can shape you. You need us, poets brave enough to rhyme their rhymes in public spaces and demand public art and light rails in all the wrong places. You know us, the ones best sent to the first and second coast or banished to Dallas or confined to coffee shops in Montrose or Valhalla on Rice campus. Poets make potholes beautiful. Poets like the one you hear read, oh Houston. Space city, clutch city, my city in need, indeed. This second poem uh, I wrote, uh, and I wanna dedicate it to Gary Swain, uh, who was the senior poet laureate of Texas for a while. I wrote this poem uh, when I was out in, um, in uh, New Mexico with him. And uh, it's about, fathers and sons, it's called Hope and Distance Out West. Tired cowboys, when the day is done, patch up their flak jackets and then their lives with calls to their wives, their girlfriends, or both. To parole officers, pastors, parents, debt collectors, credit agencies, or children, their children, their sons. Slack-jawed lines, fairy harmonica voices from Motel 6s in South Dakota down the Great Plains to eager ears in Albuquerque. When y'all coming home, Pop? Soon, son, soon. Did you qualify today? How'd you ride? Almost good enough, he says. What's that buzz on the line? What's that buzz? The window unit gurgles. The cowboy holds a beer to his bruised temple. It's windy on this riverbank. Great sunset. Y'all camped out, says the boy. You got a fire going, huh? Soon enough. Get your sleep now, son. Good night. An image warms the child in his bed of Pop patting his quarter horse good night beside the trickle of a stream. The boy tucks himself under a sheep, snug like embers in his father's campfire, the one he will watch until the smoke subsides. subsides. Back at the six, the cowboy eases himself onto the moldy bedspread, flips through standard cable for a spell with his good hand, remembers his own father's voice crackling homeward with those same words, soon, almost, good enough, good night. These words, his father's words, are now his own. Words that 
ride many miles, but return home. They smolder in the ashes of the family they repair. They make a man, a totem, a child can bear. Hi, my name is Mary Wemple. And this first poem was inspired by the installation Salon of Beauty by Anna Serrano at Rice Gallery 2011. The artist filled the gallery with all these cardboard buildings like in an LA neighborhood. Down one corner, there was a washing machine all by itself. And I wondered what it might be feeling being there all alone. Washing machine. I seem to have an eating disorder. I'm either stuffed or empty, never satisfied. All these cycles have left me angular and pale. I'm drowning from the inside. I miss my husband, how he jostled me in his sleep. I miss how our shoulders met at the same level. I miss his hot breath every time he woke up next to me. This next poem appeared in Enchantment of the Ordinary and Sappho's Torque. One day you will be tall enough. We found you in the backyard at the edge of the path to the garage. You had pushed your way out of a layer of gravel. We decided to dig you up and replant you a little closer to the fence where you wouldn't get stepped on so easily. The remains of Bunny and Harry are just south of you now. As you grow up, you'll get closer to them, touch their shrouds, maybe curl into their soft fur. They say it's like winning the lottery, the likelihood of a seed to root. We think you came from the cypress across the street. One day you will be tall enough to see her, wave back at her in the wind. Look up, the sky is open for you here. A mockingbird trills a car alarm sequence. The freeway moans in the distance. <laughs> 